The Last Camp Out by Mike Mead, best scene. Interior, Bill and Chelsea's tent, night. Chelsea rolls over and pulls her sleeping bag over her head. Several moments later, she angrily unzips her bag and sits up. Oh, screw this. She pulls on her shoes, grabs the gun, and exits the tent. Exterior, camp, night. Chelsea stands outside her tent in almost complete darkness. The campfire is dead. She scans the area. Bill, you out here? The headlights of Bill's pickup come on. She's flooded with light. Blinded, she stumbles backward and falls to the ground next to Bill's bloody body. She screams in terror as she tries to get back up, but slips and falls in a pool of blood. The silhouette of the killer walks in front of the headlights towards her. She scrambles to her feet, turns and runs to the trees. Exterior, forest, night. Chelsea runs through the trees, never looking back as branches tear at her clothes and flesh. She finally collapses from exhaustion. She takes a moment to catch her breath. She begins to stand when a hand reaches out and grabs her shoulder from behind. She turns, simultaneously pulls the gun and cocks the hammer. Anthony stands in front of her, the look of shock on his face. He struggles to catch his breath. Don't shoot! Anthony! Chelsea drops the gun and hugs him tight around the neck, momentarily relieved. Come on, we have to keep moving. That other road we were on last night can't be too far from here. We can follow it out of the forest and get help. He picks up the gun and puts it in his waistband. They both take off through the dark forest. The exterior forest, marijuana field, night. Chelsea and Anthony sprint through the forest. The trees begin to open up in front of them. They run straight off a steep dirt bank and tumble into the bushes below. Anthony immediately grabs his ankle, writhes in pain. Oh, shit! My ankle! Chelsea puts her hand over his mouth and shushes him and takes a look around. Hey, isn't this... Anthony looks up at the plants. Yep. Looks like marijuana to me. He pulls down a branch and smells it. Oh, yeah. We must have fallen right into that guy's crop. That means the other road must be close by. Can you walk? I can walk, but I don't think I can run. You go ahead. I'll try not to fall too far behind. Chelsea nods and takes off through the marijuana field. Anthony watches her disappear into the bushes. Exterior, forest, road, day. The sky is gray with the first light of the morning as Chelsea emerges from the marijuana field and stumbles onto the road. She bends over, hands on knees, and breathes heavily. As she begins to straighten up, something catches her eye. The grizzled man from the night before stands down the road. He faces Chelsea and slowly raises his rifle. I told you, kids. Please! No! The gunshot rings out. The man falls dead on the road, a bullet hole in his forehead. Anthony stands next to Chelsea with pistol in hand. Smoke drifts from the barrel. It's over. Chelsea throws her arms around Anthony, cries into his chest. He lowers the pistol and puts another arm around her, a look of triumph on his face. They continue to embrace when his body suddenly stiffens. She leans back and looks into his face. What's wrong? Anthony is silent. Blood trickles out of the side of his mouth. Anthony! He falls face down on the road with an arrow at his back. She looks to his body and then to the tree line and gasps. The killer, a wild man, emerges from the forest. Long, matted hair cloaks his scarred and mutilated face as he strides towards Chelsea. She drops to her knees in fear. Her hands tremble as she picks up the pistol, aims and fires the five remaining shots at the killer, but he keeps coming. Chelsea screams in terror as the killer is right on top of her. He knocks her to the ground and straddles her. His gnarled fingers close tightly around her throat. Her eyes roll back as she passes out. The killer grabs her by the hair and drags her toward the trees. Chelsea drifts in and out of consciousness as they disappear into the forest.